गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन स्टेंजा वाइज योर फर्स्ट पोइम द माउंटेन एंड द स्क्वेर सो हु इज द पोइट ऑफ दिस पोएम राल्फ वेल्डो इमरसन द फर्स्ट स्टेंजा इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द माउंटेन एंड द स्क्वेर हैड ए क्वारल एंड द फॉर्मर called the letter little prig here what happens in this stanza the poet describes the quarrel that is conflict or the angry arguments between the mountain and the squirrel and angrily the mountain tells the squirrel that she is very little she is a little prig that means in hindi तुच्छ प्राणी बट सेल्फ सेटिस्फाइड हियर टू वर्स आर गिवेन द फॉर्मर द फॉर्मर इज यूज हियर फॉर द माउंटेन एंड द लेटर वर्ड इज यूज फॉर द स्क्वेर नाउ लेट सी हाउ बन रिप्लाइज टू द माउंटेन वेन माउंटेन टेल्स स्क्वेर दैट शी इज वेरी लिटिल and here bun replied bun is a name given to squirrel by the poet okay so bun replies you are doubtless very big but all sorts of things and the weather must be taken together to make up a ear in the second stanza the poet further describes squirrel's reply to the mountain and squirrel says that of course you are very big in size but small things also have equal importance because god has created everything with a purpose and everything has its own own role she gives example of different weathers of different duration and she also says that when these weathers are combined all together then it is known as year similarly earth consists of a small as well as very big things but when they are taken all together combinedly they can be called the world or the earth in this way the squirrel tries to make the mountain understand that everything in this world which is created by the god has its own importance in this world now the next stanza and as fair and i think it is no disgrace it is no disgrace to occupy my place disgrace means insult if i am not so large as you okay then here you are not so small as i and not half so spray i will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track talents differ all is well and wisely put if i cannot carry forest on my back neither can you crack a nut so here the squirrel further says that there is no insult in being so small she is happy with her place she says that she is not as big as the mountain but the mountain is also not as small as she is in fact he is not energetic as she is but she also does not deny that the mountain makes a beautiful nice way for the squirrel and in the last stanza in the last stanza 
the poet explains the squirrel's reply again she says that different creatures have different talent god has arranged these creatures in such a way that everything could work smoothly moreover a squirrel except that of course she is unable to carry a forest on her back but she also reminds that mountain also cannot crack even a nut in spite of being so huge huge means very big in this way we have finished this poem thank you very much